Uh, welcome back, Sasa23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, today I'm going to do my top 10 best budget Warncliffe knives. Um, I love a good Warncliffe. Now I tried to keep it as close to a true warranty as possible, and what I mean by that is it, it has a straight, straight edge. Like uh, this one didn't make it uh, as a warranty because it has it has a decent little belly to it. Now I will probably do a separate video on my uh, modified warranties like this. So don't be like, why didn't you have that one? Or here's another good example. Very close, but it does, you know, it starts to have belly. Now I have one that's, you know, kind of like this, but it, in my opinion, it's, it's probably as close as you can get to be on both sides. So I'll let y'all know when I get to that one. So let's get started. First up, coming from Tucson is the TST85. Um, this is a great user knife. I got this for $46 uh, off of eBay. You can get this one on Amazon here and there. They, they're in stock sometimes at White Mountain Knives as well. They're a, a dealer for them. And I think um, Justin from, yeah, Justin from OCD for EDC, <laughs> he's now carrying um, some Tucson, so you can check all them. But I love, love that warning blade shape. Look how thick, that's one thing, this thing, that's why I said it's a good user because you have very thick contoured uh, micarta scales and it just fills out the hand very, very nicely. Now I will say I have a medium sized hand and the way that this flipper tab curves back kind of like on a hinder, you already have a smaller handle. So if you have large hands, this is probably not gonna work for you. Um, I'll say the action on it, it rockets out. This thing comes out with authority. You have a deep carry pocket clip um, that is only tip up right hand carry. So sorry about that lefties. Just a good overall budget knife from Tucson. It uh, slices nicely because of that high flat grind comes down to a nice thin edge down there. <laughs> and I think the main reason why I like Warnies so much is because I do a lot of breaking down of boxes and stuff like that where I'm pushing down hard and you don't have to worry about this knife sliding out of a cut like you would something with the deep belly on it. And I do a lot of detail work where I'm guiding that tip through something. And you know, warnings are excellent for that. So this Tucson TS T Tucson TS85, really, really cool uh, design. Next up is a Bohemoth coming from Artisan Cutlery, and it is the proponent. This is one of those knives that just puts a smile on my face. You know, is it something that I EDC, you know, often? No, I don't really EDC this one. This is something that I'll carry around in the, uh, when I have jeans on around the house because this thing's a brick, it will weigh down the pants. Uh, it's, it's, it's rather wide for me, but I love it. This is a Dirk Pinkerton design. I love a lot of his designs and look at that nice aggressive warning. You could also put these in a uh, self-defense roll if you're trained like that, but I am not. But look at that oversized thumb stud, and this thing is actually pretty darn smooth for uh, such a behemoth. They also give you a pin that you can that is threaded. You can screw it into here, so basically this thing, you know, can't close on you unless you shear the the pin or break. I'm sure that part of the blade right there where it gets thin would probably break before that that pin would unless it's not hardened but definitely a cool cool knife you can get these now they went away for a while you there were so many different iterations but you can get this particular one with the black g10 red pivot collar d2 steel on amazon for uh right at 70 dollars that's a lot of knife getting a lot of steel big chunker all right, next up, had to put this one on. It's one of my favorite budget uh, warnies, and it's coming from QSP. That is the Penguin. I own, a, I've owned, I think, five Penguins. I still own three because I love the knife. It's, I bought this one when it was 25 bucks. I think now they're like 32, which still is an excellent bargain. I mean, look at this. This one is the one that stayed in my shop, got used, abused. I mean, you can see that my card is all worn on it. Um, I've, I've used this thing for just about everything and it's gotten smoother and smoother as uh, I use it. And it's got blue jean micarta on this one. You can also get it in 
I think G10 now and maybe a different color. You can get it in all kinds of different stuff now. And if, if you didn't want the D2 version, D2 version at $32, you could go to Knives Plus. They have an exclusive and you can get one in S35VN. This particular one with the S35VN and the, the raindrop carbon fiber comes in at 70 bucks. You can get an even cheaper S35VN one with the, uh, with the blue jean micarta. I don't remember offhand what it is, but definitely an excellent little knife. You could also get it with a titanium frame lock with 154 CM, but I figured since I had these, uh, I haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet. I need to. It's QSP Penguin. All right, this is an oldie and goodie. Uh, just an excellent beater knife coming from Cold Steel, and that is the Cold Steel Tough Light. I picked this up whenever I first got, you know, into the YouTube scene on the knife in the knife community many years ago, and I was amazed on how ergonomic this knife is. You can see how it has this constant arc right here, and then this deep choil, these two. Now, if for some reason your fingers don't fit in that choil, then it might not be as comfortable. But for me, those two choil, those two choils right there fit me excellent. And whenever I, this flares out right here, feeling these two hands, and then this automatic, this nice curvature fits the palm of my hand, and it's so comfortable. And you can use, abuse these. It's only all state steel, but you know, for such a small blade, I've I've cut so much crazy stuff with this, and you know, it doesn't hold an edge, you know, no crazy amount of time, but it's easy to touch up. Uh, Cold steel does a good job, you know, whoever does their heat treating in Taiwan does a good job now it is tip down only uh, I know that's a deal breaker for a lot of people but you know don't don't let that stop you for such a cheap knife uh, it's 32 bucks I'll say it, it is grivery handles that, that might be another deal breaker but talk about it's still got the pride lock still a super strong knife nice and smooth action I'm telling you you won't be disappointed if you need a good beater knife or just want a nice little smaller uh, warning for your collection. They make a mini tough light as well, but this one was small enough for me. All right, next one is coming from CH Knives. It is a CH Nighthawk. I think this one was, was sent to me by a viewer a long time ago. I don't remember, because I don't recall buying this one. Um, I've seen it on Amazon though. I'll tell you what. It, it it might not be the prettiest knife, but very very you got a nice human size uh, forward choil right here, and another one that just super super comfortable. You get this grip right here, that 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 clinch grip right here, and talk about you can put some force behind that cut. Uh, now being you have this deep forward finger choil, you do lose a good bit of blade length. I mean uh, cutting edge, but this thing is stupid smooth, and it holds a respectable edge. It's D2 steel. Uh, it's only 30 bucks, so you know it. It's not. It's not going to be. You know. Um, I don't know a super steel. You know it, D2 is okay. They do an okay job with it. It's not the hardest uh, Rand D2, but it holds a decent low edge, and uh, the action on it. It's on bearings. Stupid smooth very fidgety with that blade hole you can spotty flick it you can thumb flick it and then you can get to that well done flipper tab where it's easy to flip and the momentum behind that flip is just ooh, decent stock on there you got you know decent low point no i mean warnings not really made for any you know heavy duty tip work so there you go that is a ch knives a night hawk all right, the next one. I've, I've been liking this knife more and more the more I use it. And this one's coming from Kaiser. This is the Kaiser Swayback. This is a design collaborations with Swags. I don't see, oh, she might, does she have a make mark on here? Maybe not. Um, a, a, a female uh, member of our community did uh, some work with Artisan Cutlery with the Malia. <laughs> she has this one and I think she might have another one. I can't recall 
but um, if you ever want to try out the sway back pattern you want to spend a whole bunch of money this is probably the way to go you can get this one for 59 bucks in 690 and also if you ever want to try out a button lock this thing works nicely look nice and smooth button lock you got a flipper on here you don't see too many flipper and thumb stud deployer button locks I mean not that I recall no um, trying to think if that Brian Ty CRKT one was or not but just a well executed knife and the um, the sway back right here doesn't kick up like so bad to where it feels very awkward like some of the sway backs do um, it, it almost makes you feel like you should be holding it like this or something like that which I mean maybe that is the case but it's, it's a fairly comfortable uh, grip in here nice and smooth action uh, fidgety you have that thumb stud deployer you have the flipper tab and you can just flip it out with the uh, the plunger if you want on the on the uh, button lock so you go tip up left or right hand carry this is the Kaiser Swayback all right now this is the one I said kind of was on that borderline but I decided to throw it in so you know I understand some people might get upset about this but Number seven is coming from Kaiser also, and that is the Kaiser Horn. Now see, this one does have just a, I mean, it's hard to even show that, but it does have a little bit of belly. If you put it on a flat surface, you'll see it come up a little bit right here, but it's very, very close. Um, I, whenever I ordered this knife, I didn't think I would like it, because it, <laughs> let's be honest, that blade shape is pretty funky looking, at least in my opinion, but, these micarta scales are awesome. This knife comes in at 62 bucks. Uh, the action on this thing, awesome. And it is super fidgety. And if you live somewhere where you're not allowed to have a flipper knife for some reason, or you just like this knife but you wish it wasn't a flipper, you can remove it. See, it's got a little, see if I can show you. It's got a little Torx right there and it's, it's made it into that so you take that off and you can pull that flipper off probably give it a little bit cooler of a profile um, the scales on this thing very nice I've reviewed this one tested it it did well deep carry uh, tip up left or right hand just a very 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 nice knife and one that I had to put on the list and like I said I think that was close enough to being straight <laughs> so <laughs> that did sound good so. There you go, that is the Kaiser Horn. All right, we got three more left to go. Next one is coming from Reich, and it is the P865-B. This one I've modified, so don't, don't pay attention to the blade. I did, like, I, I experimented doing a, like, acid wash with a copper wash on there, so you can see the copper in there and the acid, it just looks a little funky. It's wearing my edge on there. But it's a pretty, uh, pretty cool warning. You got a nice long worn cliff. One thing I like about this one is, is it's in uh, stainless 14C 28 inch steel. I love that steel. It's an excellent budget steel. Reich does a pretty good job with that. Um, nice, compact, thin in all dimensions. And you got somewhat of a contoured effect the way they have the deep chamfer on both sides of the G10 scales. Uh, I wish it had like dual thumb studs. That's the only thing I really wish, and um, more comfortable because those aren't the most comfortable mushroom head thumb studs. But it performs nicely, and it's a nice, thin, light, sleek carry. That is the Reich P865-B in 14C 28 in deep carry clip, right hand tip up only. Now, did I say the price of that one is 35 bucks? All right, next is coming from Ontario Knives, and that is the Ontario Besra. Um, I reviewed this one, and I'll say if you're looking to get into a titanium frame lock, it, this one or their other ones in this line would be a good way to go because, you know, if you're on a, a tight budget, you can get this knife for 40 bucks. It's a titanium frame lock. It's coated black. Deep carry pocket clip, stainless pocket clip. You can go tip up or tip down, right hand only. 
Comes with a micarta scale, but it is some pretty funky looking micarta. I'll just be honest there, but it is contoured. I do like this blade, nice worn cliff, kind of like uh, the Warney on the uh, Penguin. All state steel action on mine is good, and the, the flipper tab is not going to poke you because it somewhat pointed back. Um, it's on bearings, lightweight, you know, not a bad uh, deal for 40 bucks. You know, I know some people don't like a US 8, but as a budget steel, I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, I did have to sharpen mine up to get the performance up a little bit, but that's just something to note. And I wish that they would have gave me a sharpening tool, but I am glad that they went all the way to the back so I can put my own if I want. So there you go. That is the Ontario Knives Bessera $40 Titanium Frame Lock Micarta AUS 8 Steel. Right, the last one, I put it last for a reason because I think it's pretty far overpriced, but I still love the knife. And that's coming from Spyderco, and that is a Spyderco Dragonfly Warning. Oh, this thing, I use this a lot. This is my, my mail opener, package opener. Uh, I leave this one on. Uh, we have like a little tray in the kitchen, and it stays in there because everybody uses this one. I added a little uh, sharpening troll in there just so I could sharpen it up. This thing's in VG10. Which is, you know, you see that in a lot of uh, budget knives now, especially Kaiser has it in their tent, their that 10 CR steels, their uh, Chinese equivalent to VG10. It's an excellent cutlery steel uh, as far as like corrosion resistance, especially for like you know your food uh, knives, your your chef knives and stuff like that. It takes a very keen edge. Uh, it doesn't hold an edge that long though and you have grivery scales on here very small a vg10 blade this thing runs 70 bucks i think that that is pretty expensive for what you're getting so that's why it's number 10 i still love the knife i like the fact that you can get this super lightweight package small knife and i can still get a four finger grip on it because of the way this forward finger troll is set up and i just like it overall i i love the dragonfly series i think i have I have three dragonflies at the moment, so uh, it didn't stop me from buying them, but I, I definitely think they're well overpriced. So that is my top 10 budget warnies. Let me know what y'all think. What are some of y'all favorite budget warnies? Um, if y'all want to see my modified budget warnie um, top 10, y'all let me know down in the comments because I try to you know, give y'all what y'all want to see because uh, either y'all haven't been liking the videos that much or YouTube has not been um, suggesting my videos because here lately they've just been tanking and I you know, I put a bit put a lot of time into a lot of these videos so that's why I really just want to know what y'all want to see try to give y'all uh, y'all to try to make y'all viewing pleasure uh enjoyable so there you go if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below i hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day i will see y'all on the next one peace